and in this video we'd like to talk about miscarriage management which means how do we manage after a miscarriage has already taken place so some doctors will recommend that you have it naturally pass the tissue let the pregnancy pass itself naturally don't disturb it but we recommend that surgical management is much better because we want to ensure no pregnancy tissue is left behind uh, because it can lead to potential infections which can, which can spread and potentially threaten the mother's life. So we do need to manage quickly, maybe in a few days after a miscarriage has happened. So there are two ways that we know a miscarriage can be managed surgically. The most common one that is being practiced today and being received by many women is D and C procedure. So D and C stands for dilation and curettage. So dilation means that they will use surgical equipment to dilate the cervix to enter into the uh, uh, uterine cavity. If we don't dilate, these surgical equipments unable to enter into the uh, uterine cavity to retrieve the fetus. The C here stands for curettage and it simply means scraping, to scrape. So, as the name suggests, you can already know that B and C can cause substantial damage to the uterine cavity. Especially when they want to scrape all these uh, uh, pregnancy tissues, sometimes uterine muscle, uh, endometrium tissue is also scraped along with the pregnancy tissue. Now, this can cause further complications along down the line. It can affect your future fertility capabilities because the endometrium might be too thin, too many, uh, scraping may cause some adhesions to form as well. We call these Asherman's syndrome. Furthermore, because there's no way to actually visualize what is going on, the doctor is simply just scraping uh, completely to maximize the chances of retrieving all fetus. So there is a potential chance that some tissue is left behind. And then and they will say that uh, it's okay as long as it's a small amount, it may be reabsorbed. Well, we don't want any tissue left behind because it can cause uh, some unwanted conditions and infections. And lastly, which is the most important factor as to why DNC is not helpful or uh, healthy for the mother, uh, which is also currently unknown, is when this uh, endometrium is being scraped, these blood vessels of the uterus deep under the uh, endometrium will be exposed. And this allows the fetus, the already dead fetus, when the tissue shatters during the scraping process, it's very easy for these to enter into the mother's system, which is why D and C is the primary cause for immunological RSA. When these pregnancy tissues enter into the mother's system during this process, the mother will generate antibodies known as anti embryonic antibodies, which is coined by Anta Hospital and can cause recurrent spontaneous abortions or recurrent miscarriage in your subsequent pregnancies with the same partner. Now, a lot of doctors will say that it's unexplained or that it's untreatable, we don't know what's going on here, but it's actually due to this factor alone, responsible for up to 90% of recurrent miscarriage. But not to worry, if you do have unexplained miscarriages, especially immunological one, Anta Hospital offers you a patented internationally patented immunotherapy that can effectively neutralize these antibodies and stabilize your pregnancy. But to deal with the problem with the root cause, we need to avoid D and C and do a better management for miscarriage, which is hysteroscopic retrieval. Now, hysteroscopy has a number of benefits uh, compared to D and C, and they achieve the same goal, which is retrieving the uh, pregnancy tissue. For example, the amniotic sac, the fetus, umbilical cord, placenta. Hysteroscopy is much more precise and minimally invasive. It can cause almost no damage to the inner uterine cavity or any tissues because it, it can allow the doctor to directly visualize, directly see the gestational sac, directly see the fetus, and then we can slowly remove it without retrieving or damaging anything else. So this has a very high chance to protect you from a potential immunological RSA. That's why we recommend, if you do need a 
uh, abortion, induced abortion conducted, hysteroscopy is the number one choice because it has direct visualization, can prevent immunological RSA and minimizes damage almost to zero. So, uh, at the end of the day, we can only advise you because we don't want to suffer from immunological RSA because it can waste years of your resources. And if you do not know how to seek proper treatment that we offer here at Atlanta Hospital, you can waste a lot of money as well. So avoid DNCs and if you do have recurrent miscarriage, you can seek our patented treatment that has a full refund guarantee to secure your next pregnancy. Always go for hysteroscopic retrieval for miscarriage patrol. Stay tuned to our next video. Leave us a comment down below and also do visit our websites and watch our other videos. And if you'd like to cover, if you'd like us to cover any other similar topics, please let us know in the comments down below.